Mixus Motorworks and welcome back to the shop. So hey, it has been an extremely long time since I posted an update about my uh, little mini hybrid go-kart here. And I thought I should actually get something out. I've got actually a number of people actually asking me about the status of this little thing. Well, uh, to be honest with you, I've actually run into some technical difficulties. What do I mean by that? In the last video, you heard me mention about the cutting out problem where the, I was running on the cart and if I gave it full throttle, it was cutting out. Well, that actually was due to an overcurrent something I did not anticipate. And the reason for that is the clutch on the bike is always engaged. That's a wet clutch system and it's spinning. So the faster I go, the more uh, amps it makes it draw and then I end up with an overcurrent situation. So this is the original controller I had in the system. It is a Curtis controller. It's rated at 450 amps at 72 volts, I believe it is. So this is uh, this, a uh, nice little controller, great controller actually, uh, just it wasn't cutting up for my application. So I opted to go with this guy. So I got some friends and uh, they actually used to work over at Wego. So this is actually a controller out of a Wego. It's rated for 550 amps at 96 volts, which is much closer to my setup. Unfortunately, Wego had some proprietary software on here. I was working with the guys over at Thunderstruck trying to get that proprietary software. It's called uh, Vehicle Control Language. They basically program some additional features. So I was trying to get this reflash back to a factory setting so I could actually use it. Unfortunately, this is not going to work either. So where does that leave me? Well, the guys over at Thunderstruck are going to basically upgrade my controller. I bought this controller from Thunderstruck and so they're going to allow me to upgrade that controller. So I am getting in about a month's time a brand new, uh, it's a 1238SE and it's going to be 900 amps. <laughs> so if I can't make this thing do something with 900 amps, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Just a reminder again, this is 450 amps. I was going to go to 550 amps and we're just skipping right up to 900 amps. Send it! What could go wrong? So the other problem I actually had, uh, so we were doing a little bit of testing around here, and this thing is loud. I don't know if it was very obvious in the last video. I do live in a bit of a rural area, but this thing, you can hear it literally for probably a mile. I'm not even joking. It is so loud. Um, so we actually got the police probably called on us and they were kind of following us around looking for the cart. So I actually need to put a muffler on it. I got a nice muffler here. So it fits in the back really well. I'll go ahead and kind of show you a picture of that here in a second. Uh, but I got to get the muffler on there. I got to get the new controller on there. And then we will basically be doing some testing. In the meantime, uh, I actually did cut out the body mold. So this behind here, I'll get some better shots at it in just a second, of the actual body itself that's going to go on this cart. Again, that's the two-thirds scale of my super cart. Way back over there behind the alpha. Yeah, I got another project, got another project here. So this project here, uh, we'll be talking about with Greg over on his channel. I'll put a link in the description. So this is a, uh, anyway, we'll just talk about that on his channel. So uh, back to the show here. So let's go ahead and switch cameras here and I'll give you an update kind of where everything kind of stands and, and what's kind of going on uh, a little bit closer detail. So let's go ahead and give you a quick overview of the cart, especially if you're kind of new to my channel. So what we got here is a front end off the Chinese go-kart, at least the A-arms are. The uh, pedal assembly you see kind of down there, that is actually out of a dune buggy. So it's a cheap eBay dune buggy pedal assembly. Got a fuel tack steering wheel, pretty common affair. The steering wheel is actually out of a dune or go-kart as well. And then I've got these four batteries. These were actually salvaged out of a Carmen Pfister battery cell. So each battery is rated nominally at 23 volts. When they're fully charged, my four batteries give me 100.8 volts. Um, then we got our shifter, nice little chain shifter that I kind of came up with somebody thought that actually was a uh, drive chain but actually no it just it just goes back and forth it's just a shifter so next up we've got the uh, radiators and those are actually out of a dirt bike i don't remember which one this is actually salvage stuff as well um this the uh, fans are our cpu fans from a computer and then the engine itself is out of a kawasaki zx6 my 50 dollar lovely 50 dollar engine the uh Electric motor is the ME1507. I'm sure I've said that before, but that's uh, rated right around 44 kilowatts max. So that's uh, quite a bit of a little bit of a ump for this little cart. And then we come around here to the back. So in the last video, this shaft right here, the jack shaft, was only um, 
it was only a spline shaft i'm sorry it wasn't a spline shaft it was a keyway shaft and now it's actually a spline shaft and the gears are on there appropriately so in the last video again i had this thing incorrectly uh, geared so uh and i also said uh, something else that was not right so this motor is capable of going to 8,000 rpm however they don't like it to run more than 6,000 rpm so i've redone the gear calculations and everything is set for this motor to run at 6,000 rpm and at 6,000 rpm this cart is geared to do 66 miles an hour with this uh with the current gear setup so that's uh basically pretty good we should be able to get there really really quickly especially if we can get that new controller so the last thing i've got to do is here's the muffler and i need to basically mount that muffler right about there hopefully to keep the police at bay we'll see how that works out for us but uh the other thing that somebody's actually asked about is how do i charge this thing well here you go so normally this would be actually in your electric car. This is the actually charger as well as that charging plug right there. Um, obviously with my setup, I got space limitations. So I just created this simple standalone charger. Got a Cripple Creek charger. This would be basically your normal uh, electric car charger. And that's uh, set up for 220. That goes into our Thunderstruck uh, EVC controller here, which basically uh, sets that 100.8 volts that I need to fully charge the batteries. So the final thing that, uh, that I'll put some time-lapse, uh, how I created this mold. This is the actual body mold. Again, this is a two-thirds scale of my cart that I'm designing. So what I've got to do next is you see up there in the front how it's black. Well, the reason for that is that's actually an epoxy uh, sealing. And before we put any chemicals on that might actually dissolve this. This is just standard basically EPS foam that uh, you know your packing material type foam that we've milled and made this body plug and uh, the uh, uh, I need to coat it so it doesn't actually get ruined by the uh, chemical that we're going to put onto it so we will be using uh, fiberglass in this we're not doing carbon fiber uh, we'll do carbon fiber on the real car but this is just basically you know just the uh, body for this little guy right here also yes my head will stick out the top here I will have to cut a hole in it um, but more to come on that once we actually go ahead and make the body itself. So that'll basically cover it on the uh, kind of the details. All right, so there you have it. The long awaited update. Not very exciting, I know. Unfortunately, that's the life you run into with prototypes. Sometimes you run into a bit of a brick wall and you kind of have to work through it. So in the next video, I sure hope to have at least one of these uh, motors up and running. Maybe both, hopefully both. Um, again, I just got to put the muffler on. We'll do some gas testing, see what kind of speeds we get with that. The electric motor, we won't have the new controller until May, like the mid part of May. Um, the 900 amp controller. <laughs> <laughs> well, that should be interesting. So anyway, we'll get that uh, installed. It's, it's, it's basically just a plug and play. So there's nothing to do once we get the controller except just mount it and, and send it. So the, uh, I will include some time-lapse footage of the actual mold making here. Uh, the five axis C machine I got in the back that did most of the work. So there's not a whole lot to see there, but uh, maybe some people might find it interesting. And then on that note, I really do take, appreciate the people who have taken the time to reach out and ask me what's going on with the project. It's uh, kind of inspiring to make me kind of keep pushing forward and solve these technical problems when I know people are actually kind of interested in following along. So anyway, if you do have a question or comment, please leave it below. I will do my best I can to answer it. And from me and Dead Bob and the rest of the guys in the shop, hey, thanks for taking your time to watch and we'll catch you soon.